a woman in Brazil, Maribel Moraes, complained to her mother about being single and stressed about not having a dance partner. To cheer her daughter up, the mother made her a rag doll named Marcelo. Moraes told the media that when her mother introduced Marcelo, she fell in love with him, stating it was love at first sight. She said it was because she didn't have a photo dancer. She went to these dances but wouldn't always find a partner. Then Marcelo came to her life and it all made sense. Moraes and Marcelo have been in a romantic relationship since the day they met. He's a man I always wanted in my life. After being together for several months, Maurice discovered that she was pregnant. She claimed that Marcelo didn't use contraceptive. He got her pregnant and that she took pregnancy tests. It was positive. She can't believe it. Not wanting to have a baby out of wedlock, the couple decided to make things official and get married. The couple welcomed 250 guests at their wedding and then snuck off to a beach house in Rio de Janeiro for a week-long honeymoon. After the honeymoon, the couple welcomed their doll child, Marcelino. She gave birth in just 35 minutes at home, with a doctor and nurse on site, while live streaming it to an audience of 200 people. I didn't feel the contractions and pain, seeing the placenta and the umbilical cord, and the blood made it all real. He was here in 35 minutes, and he is great. Maurice said she and her family are extremely happy together, despite the stress of being the only breadwinner in the house. Stating that Marcelo has so many great qualities, but the only downside is he's lazy. He doesn't work at all, but she's a warrior and will keep going for them. She is working hard to provide for her family and hates when people telling her that her family is fake. It really upsets me when people say this is fake. It makes me so angry. I am a woman of character. My father, my mother taught me to be honest, to be a good person, and not want to take advantage of anything. The 37-year-old is now thrilled to announce that the couple are expecting another baby, showing off a pregnancy test on TikTok that appears to be positive. The clip has racked up over 369,000 views with a couple who have a son saying they are so happy and hoping for a girl this time around. Maurice is not alone having this kind of relationship. A Colombian man claims he is engaged to a rock doll named Natasha and she is pregnant with their third child. He says he met the love of his life after being single for several years. They have TikTok with 76,000 followers. In some videos, he can be seen helping his kids with their homework and watching TV. Now he says they are expecting another son who will be called Sami. The first documented objectophilia case occurred in 1979 when Eja Reta Eklof Berliner Mauer married the Berlin Wall. It all started when she was 7 years old when she saw the Berlin Wall on television. She eventually married the Wall by June 17, 1979, hiring an animist who served as a translator for the Wall and said its wedding vows. Erika Labrie, the person known to have married the Eiffel Tower. Labrie is an American competitive archer. She was immediately attracted to the Eiffel Tower after encountering it in 2004. She ended up getting married to it in 2007. As of today, numerous sources reported that Erika Labrie has ended her relationship with the Eiffel Tower and is currently interested in a fence.
A woman bought a briefcase as a prop for a photo shoot. Little did you know, this briefcase was her future husband. Rain Gordon, a teacher, has always been attracted to objects. When she first met the briefcase in 2015, named Kay John, she felt an instant connection. She ended up dating this briefcase, having philosophical conversation for three or four hours. However, she knew this relationship was unconventional, so she attempted to get into a relationship with a human in 2017. However, her connection with the guy is not as strong as the briefcase. They ended up breaking up. She continued being in a relationship with Gijon and marrying him by 2020.